Right, John, enough historical for a while. I know. Time for some infinity. I picked this. I know you picked this. I picked this, and then I went and got one. I know, you picked it and you got one, mm -hmm. and quite simply, it's a crime that we've not unboxed it yet. It is, because all we've done before was a, a sneak peek of it. A sneak peek of the Angel Heraldes painted version, which is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And the concept art, oh my god. Oh, lovely. Anyway. Anyway, moving on. This is the Anaconda Mercenary Tag Squad. Well said. <laughs> Crack it open. Because you, you picked it, you unbox it. I, I picked it, I then bought it. <laughs> yeah, and you then built it. And then built it. And then I had to repair it when I brought it in. Because you broke it. I didn't break it. Mm. It was sitting in a box. Somebody put something on top of it. It could have been anyone that put that box on top of your box. Well, apparently I'm not allowed to blame anyone that isn't here to defend themselves, so it's your fault. Saying nothing. <laughs> I, I, I'll just hang my head in shame, I apologize. You should hang your head in shame. All right, so once again, you know, when you look at the box and you go, that paint scheme is amazing. Yeah, well, whenever it's Angel Heraldes being godlike as always. The best thing is that the, mo the model is just as good as the paint job. Yes. It's a fantastic and kit. For your particular painting style, John, this is heavy, dark, gritty, and dirty. Yes, I'm going to make Mr. Heraldes cry when I paint this because I'm going to be using pigment powders. <laughs> and sponges and all sorts of weird dirty things and he's going to be like but you have my book <laughs> you have that you have the skills in that book to paint it right what are you doing there is no such thing as painting it right there are levels of painting there are levels of and, painting. The, and then there's me with a three-inch brush and then there's me with a three-inch brush <laughs> well, let's have a look at the bits. Right, so we're, well, we we'll start, start with the big bits. We'll start with the tag, the big bits. So I'll slide the tag over to you. Okay, so uh, we have me and body. The body, yes. Which is big, chunky, heavily armored. I love it. Plenty of fiber muscle detail in under the arms as well. Yeah, and <clears> down <throat> in around the back, you have a nice little bit. Yep. And the thing I like the best, yeah. all the connections are square plug, yep. and they're big. Yep. They are. Big connections, so that's going to mean a strong joint. Mm -hmm. This will not fall apart unless you do it completely wrong. So we have one of the legs, mm -hmm. which is, again, lots of that heavy armor, plenty of fiber muscle in and around it. Yep. Very nice. Uh, we have another foot, or another leg. Another leg. It's, it's quite a chunky model. It is quite a chunky model, but it's still... It's still streamlined. It's still, yeah, it still maintains that streamlined, very sort of, it looks agile. Mm. It... You know, the armor looks thick on it, but it does look agile at the same yeah. time. Uh, we then have... The Schwartz. The Schwartz. We, we love Schwartz. We love Schwartz. We love Schwartz. I love this particular one because it's, I don't know, it's sort of an Asian straight sword, you know, Chinese sort of design. Yeah. Would you say, or is it just a super long machete? Well, I don't know my swords, but I can tell you that is not a machete. No, it's not. Because mach machetes are broad blade. Yeah, but if you think for the size of this actual machine... It still looks like a sword. Oh, uh, it, okay, sword. It's, defi it's definitely sort of a, a kind of Asian straight sword sort yeah. of idea going on. It, it looks nice and deadly. Yes. And again, up the inner arm, just the, the fiber muscle. You're going to have fun painting this just for that kind of thing. It's going to take me hours to highlight that. Are you going to highlight every single little muscle individually? Quite possibly, because I'm actually having read... So, uh, some of Mr. Heraldes' book. Mm. You notice I always call him Mr. Heraldes because I don't want to pronounce his first name, whether, you know, because Warren says ankle and you say angel. Yeah. I'll give you more parts to the tag. So yep. there's the, this the collar is sort piece. This sort of the, the backpack collar yeah, piece? The, the back piece that goes sort of over the shoulders. Yeah. So if I bring this in, you can see there's four little pins here, which then correspond up here. Yep. And. Through the magic of television in Justin's hands. Uh, the, no, because vents. Because so. he needs to trim the model first. The model needs trimmed here and here, but this basically goes up and on, yep. like so. Yep. And um, I believe your sword also connects into, well, the sheath for it connects into a little pip here. Yes. We then have the other arm, the balled arm. into a fist. <clears throat> yeah, it's just a fist, it's just a closed fist, there's nothing yeah. else there. Uh, is it just me or is there armor plate to go on the, the top here? There is. Ah, funnily enough. Yes, yes. So we have two lovely little armor plates, and I think, if I'm right, this one has another square peg in it, so that means something else goes on top of that. Yes. We have questioned what this is. 
I'm saying ammo pack. You're saying ammo pack. I'm saying find me a gun. Because there's no gun. Fair point. Perhaps some form of... Uh... I think... Oh, uh, you're about to beat me to the punch, aren't you? No, you go say it. No, I'll let you say it. All I'll right. you say it. I'm probably going to say this wrong, but it, it seems like some active defense system to shoot down incoming projectiles. Yeah, that's, that's what I think. An electronic countermeasure or something like that. There we go. Or All an right. active countermeasure. Yeah, so what else we got? I uh, believe this is a front, front plate for the chest. Yeah, so once you look at the chest here, you notice that that big round plate isn't actually sculpted onto it. It's yep. separate. It has them big grab handles on it there to open the hatch. Yeah, or for her to hang off like in the artwork. Uh. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Carlos, can you like send him a poster of that? So like, yeah, A one, please. Yeah. Okay. Right. We have the sheath of the sword. Yep. Which is ah, I pronounced it correctly. Sword. There we go. Sword. There we go. Uh, sorry, I can edit it so you always say sword. <laughs> You're gonna edit it so that all I say is sword. 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 <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Keep yeah, going. Yeah, we, we, uh, we have the sheath. Okay. Mm. It's it actually looks a little bit short for the sword. Are you sure? I did it. No, it's nope. okay. <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> okay. It's it's nice. It's heavy. It's tacky, and it actually looks really functional. Just to sling over the back of the shoulder. Yep. You know. Okay. Moving on. Moving on. The head. The head, <clears throat> which has a strange sort of night like look to it. It is kind of nightly esque isn't it? But when you see the, the painted example, I think it it's maybe not just as nightly when you see the painted one. No, I, I don't know. That still looks like a, a visor of a night film. It, uh, it kind of reminds me of like some sort of, you know, early model sort of killer robot thing rather than... Mm, maybe. A uh, night, I suppose, but... Oh, guys, argue about it in the comments. Uh, yeah. it, it's a nice piece. It, it gives it a great character. Yep. So then we have the arms for the actual pilot. Yep. Because the pilot has that sort of uh, apple seed control system where the arms are outside, but they're still done within the the armor. Yep. Which I really, really, I love that design because it's, a, it, 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 it's also a heart to ghost in the shell as well. Some of the series. Yeah. Or they have some of the Macs that have that. It's, yeah. it's a nice idea because it's a very realistic answer to how do you, as a pilot, control arms that you aren't connected to. Yeah. So they just make... I two armoured sheaths. Yeah, just make these two arm, armoured bits. And then you get this beautiful thing on the miniature whenever you actually have it built, if I bring this in again, where you can actually see the arms on the inside smaller, yep. echoing the big arms. Yeah. So that shows I, I that love control that. mechanism being used. And I like yeah, that. but no, I, I like that sort of internal echo because mm. it's it's just it's a very nice design. It's, it looks really nice. It's about the only part of the the tag where you actually get to see what the human's doing. Yeah, or where the human would be placed, or where the human is. So yeah, you know, I mean, like whenever you come to the Panoceana ones, they're all uh, remote controlled. Yeah, you know, so you don't get to see that. But whenever it's things like this, or say, uh, oh, the iguana mm -hmm. for nomads, I believe, mm -hmm. would have that as well. Next. Crotch plate. Crotch. Okay. That's that's what it is. Fair, that's, fair enough. That's where it's placed, that's what I'm calling it. Okay, crotch plate. It's well it's a crotch plate, what can you say? It goes on the crotch. <laughs> the crotch plate goes on the crotch. Yeah. Well done. There's nothing more to say. Okay, so these are the ankle or sorry, the back of the feet. Um, these are the two extra pads at the back of the feet. Ah, right. You see, I was wondering about that. You don't see them that clearly. I'm not too sure if you can see them well. On the, you know, you can't really. Yeah, so they're basically pinning on to the, the back of the foot Yeah. to actually be a stabilization component. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can understand why they would do that in the design. Mm -hmm. it's, it's one thing I like about Infinity. Whenever they're des designing their stuff, they actually think about proper physics and stuff of how it would function, yep. what it would need. It's not just... Right, let's just put a random squiggly bit here. It actually looks as if it would function if you built it. Yeah, and that's okay. part of the appeal. So. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so pilot, pilot, pilot. The beautiful pilot. The amazing pilot. The gorgeous pilot. Main body. And what? that's all you need, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not even getting into that conversation with him because this this could go wrong so very quickly. We might have to start refilming. We might have to bend the entire video if we go down that route. Anyway. Main body. She's in a light leather suit. I'm assuming leather or some oh, a little leather or yeah, high some tech, sort of sort very of high tech latex fabric. Yeah, 
some some kind of yes some kind of, you're, let, think, you're let, thinking let, you're let, thinking let's latex, call it a, let's call it a circuit latex let's call it a suit a suit a body suit a body or suit. a body glove the gun. gun yes a gun and because this is a mercenary tag mm. uh, I'm not sure which faction this comes from I think it might be a left or nomad a left yeah. or nomad it's it's the thing I like about some of the mercenary stuff is they're not locked into using one racist technology so they can sort of pick and choose and sort of recombine stuff yeah. you know, when they're designing these. I think it's really nice. Mm -hmm. Next next we have her other arm, which, which uh, very delicate. It's very delicate, but it does um, pose onto her hip. Yes. So you do have two connecting points so you don't have to worry too much about the part becoming loose at any point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, but uh, again, it just adds to the sexiness of the pose. Uh, I assume we have a head. Yes, with pigtails. With pigtails? Yes, with, pig, with pigtails. So apparently that's the thing that makes makes them all even better for Justin to look at. Pigtails, apparently. It is. Honestly, it's just a beautiful little mini. They, they've done... We know Infinity do beautiful women. Mm -hmm. they, can do the, they can do beautiful women till the end of time, and they will still be gorgeous. Mm -hmm. This one is particularly nice. Now, what do you like about it? Because I like... Um, what's her face? From the Scarface book. Oh. Or Scar. Cordelia. Cordelia. The I like Jitsy girl. I like Cordelia because she just looks like she has had way too much caffeine. Yeah. She has that look of, I don't care. I'm just having <laughs> fun. Everything's bright, pretty, shiny. Caffeine? But, you know, when you think about it and they go from that sort of style mm. to that, and this girl looks a lot more serious. Uh, but she's very sultry about it. She is. You know, there, there's just something very, very... Charming about her, I'm gonna she, say. Oh, do you know what it is? Mature. She she looks yes. a lot more mature than Cordelia. That, that is the way to describe it. She mm -hmm. is a very mature palette, but still yep. incredibly beautiful, elegant as yep. well. You would describe it as. Yeah. Right, guys. Uh, before myself and John wax lyrical anymore, we're gonna take a break. This is going all the way. We're gonna come back with a built version. Need, need to cool off. Ah, we're back. John has not been murdered in the break. Nearly. This close to killing him. There are a few bruises on the back of my head. I need to keep his face pretty for camera. What can I say? Can't do anyway, start off with the tag, the business end of things. Mm -hmm. This is lovely. It's very dynamic. It's very tall. It's brutish. It's something you will have to take extreme care when you're transporting mm -hmm. because of that sheath yep. and that sword. Sword. Yeah. <laughs> the one thing I would suggest, if you're transporting this, Battle foam. Yeah, so get... That's the only thing I'm going to say. Get something custom cut for it. Mm. And something that, you know, will support the model in every position, you know, every possible way you yeah. want to pack it, so... Yeah, John, is it just me or your short sword is not straight? You were fixing it, so you have broke it. It's not broke, it's bent. You've bent it. You've ruined my perfectly straight blade that I spent all of 20 seconds doing. <laughs> there we go, more like it. I think that's better. But you can see the, the big shoulder cowling has came up and across really nicely. Yep. The big front plate where your pilot's head should be mm -hmm. is, again, it's, it's bulky, it's British. When, when you see it on the model, it looks like it's sitting really far forward. Yeah, It feels bit. like it's sitting too far forward, but... You can understand why it would be designed that way. It, it still gives that feeling of um, purpose. Purpose and thickness and you know effectiveness as well mm -hmm. because it is a big chunk of thing that you're going to be shooting at. So. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's it's beautifully done. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say I'm looking forward to seeing this painted once you get through to it. You know, because John, like every proper hobbyist, has a mountain of metal beside his painting desk. Yeah, absolutely. which he will eventually paint. Eventually paint, but this will be on one of my priority lists. To be perfectly honest, yeah, with. Um, Mr. Harales' book now that I can actually freely access and look at. Yeah. I might actually take some some techniques out of that and go, I don't know how to do that, and then try and do something else. <laughs> uh, let's have a look at the pilot as well. Yep. She is a lovely little mini when she's built up. Mm -hmm. And like I said, there's there's very much that, well, like you said, that mature pose. Yeah. You know, and the elegance. Yeah. When building her in particular, mm. there is a gate on the elbow of the arm that goes onto her hip. So this one? Yeah. So you'll want to clip that down. And if you get some really fine sandpaper, Tammy, I do a really good set, a very a super mm. fine sandpaper, and just give yeah. it a little buff of that, and that'll bring that up very mm. nicely. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's infinity. What can you say? 
every month they send me in the stuff for their previews and their blast. Mm -hmm. Every time, I mean, like if if you've seen the posts I do for the the blasts, I I actually type those up myself. I'll mm -hmm. I'll have a quick chat with Carlos. Yep. And talk through what's what's been going on, what they've been doing for the design, how they're going to play on table. Mm -hmm. Every month I look at it and I'm just blown away by what they create. And this is another one of those minis. Whenever it came out, it blew me away. Yep. The real test is, this still stands to Infinity's latest stuff. Because this has been out for a fair wee while. Yes. You know, and it's, it's a crime that we haven't got to it sooner. But we've done it now and it still holds up magnificently to today's stuff. Well, the, the best thing is that Infinity, as, you know, as Corvus Belly advance in their own, mm. you know, their own their selves financially, technologically, they have the talent, yeah. artistically, the talent is improving as everything mm -hmm. else is improving, you will still find that consistency in the model. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. Models will probably get better in the future, as a lot of companies do, mm -hmm. but you will still be able to look back at some of this stuff and go, that is still fantastic, doesn't need touched. Yeah. Again, even whenever Infinity come back to redesign stuff, they'll look at the old one and go, okay, that's what we were going for then. Let's put those to one side. Let's yeah. let let's redo those. The the artistic vision is we're going not changed on that. Yeah, yeah. It's it's not even a change. It's just saying we can do that better. Yeah, it's it's good as is, but we can do that better. And mm -hmm. that's what I like about Infinity. They're not scared to go back and redo stuff. Yep. Right. Anyway, guys, myself and John are going to move on here. We'll see what else we can find to unbox, and we'll see you again in the next video.